Uh, my name is Danny White. Uh, my wife and I are the owners of Kitty's Cafe here in Washington Courthouse. Um, we are a boba tea shop and cat cafe. Uh, these are two things that didn't exist in this town and that we both had passions for. We uh, were huge cat people. We uh, are really interested in cat rescue and kind of helping educate with cat rescues and spaying and neutering and trying to take care of animals. So that was something that we always kind of had a passion for. And also boba tea is something that we fell in love with years ago and like slowly really worked on developing um, kind of our own methods of making it. And uh, our idea here went through a couple of iterations. It originally was going to be like a food truck type operation and we put it on the back burner for a while until just something told us to go for it and to try to bring something good and uh, inclusive to the community. Okay, well Kitty is the name of my mother. Yeah, she uh, passed a few years ago, and this place is pretty much in her honor. When we were bouncing around names for the ideas, it just kind of seemed natural for us. Because we also love puns and double entendres, so if we can make a reference to a loved one and be kind of blatant with what we are at the same time, yeah, I think that that's something that we can have fun with. Everybody has been really positive and really accepting of us. Like from the uh, time that we first brought the idea into the town, we had to explain what cat cafes and boba tea were to some people, but once they kind of understood what we were doing here, I think everybody really seems to enjoy it. And uh, the customers that come in absolutely love us. The uh, you know, We have a nice solid clientele of people that are regulars that come in you know weekly if not more than once a week that you know they just love the environment Um, our Humane Society is amazing. Lee Schrader is uh, really hands-on, her and her entire team. They have been nothing but really helpful with this entire process. We were kind of a little nervous to uh, present the idea to them beforehand, but they were immediately receptive and loved the idea. So as soon as we had the building ready, they were in here checking it out and giving input on things and they've been nothing but supportive. Um, they're some of our biggest cheerleaders. Um, so we basically we want to be a meeting place and a place where people can gather from all different backgrounds. You know, our you know passion for opening this, we wanted to be something inclusive for everybody. So you know, we have game nights several nights a week. Um, we have one every Wednesday. We have a Dungeons and Dragons night. Right now we have Magic the Gathering on Saturday nights. We've got board games and coloring books and card games and other things that people can come in and play anytime. And they're welcome to bring in their own games and if they want to get a group of people together, they're welcome to anytime. Um, besides that, we offer a selection of boba teas. Um, if you're not familiar with boba tea or bubble tea, it's basically a flavored tea with different toppings added in it for like a texture enhancement. Um, some people are not into teas, we also offer a cold brew coffee. We teamed up with a 
company out of Pennsylvania called Kitty Brew Coffee, and they're a, a small roastery and they work with cat rescues as well. So their passions and our passions meshed, and luckily enough, they really had amazing coffee. So we teamed up with them and we created a really nice cold brew that goes well with the drinks that we imagined. And then a couple months in, people started kind of wanting something different and we came up with a lemonade. And through some trial and some different things, we came up with a really nice lemonade base that we make, just like a carnival shaken lemonade, but using the equipment that we have here that you can flavor and add the different you know, toppings to. And that has become a, a favorite and a mainstay. And we go through quite a bit of lemonade on a daily basis. Besides that, we've got an assortment of you know gifts, and we work with other small vendors. Um, we want to promote local artists and artisans, and other small creators to kind of you know keep the love around in this community and help things grow. So we've got right now everything from paintings, and uh, we've got some baked goods, and, you know, some different toys, and we will have like some woodworking stuff here soon. Um, we've got some handcrafted notebooks that are hand bound. Um, we've got all kinds of fun things that are all made here locally. And besides that, we do work with the Humane Society and we work with uh, rescuing cats. We cannot take cats in from the public, but we work with the Humane Society and you can adopt cats here, or if you just want, you can come and enjoy their company for a few minutes out of your day. We are open Monday through Thursday, 11 to 7. Friday and Saturday, we are 11 to 8. Sunday, we are closed, but we are available for private parties. People like to um, have birthday parties with the cats or graduation parties. Any kind of event parties like that, we can host. And we've had quite a few, and they've had a lot of fun. Um, so we are available to do those on Sundays. You can find us on Facebook, it's Kitty's Cafe, and also Instagram. Uh, we've got a TikTok for our resident cat, Freddy. And we have a, a link tree up, and it's just linktree-kitty's cafe, and you can find all of our socials on there. Really, we're really appreciative of the community. Everybody that we've met so far has been amazing, and the reception's been fantastic. I think a lot of people are still discovering that we're here, but when people come in and they try our stuff or they meet the cats for the first time, and most of the time they have a really pleasant experience and they want to come back. So, you know, it's just, I appreciate everybody that's come in and supported us so far. And all the other businesses here on North Main Street have been incredible. We've got a really nice full block of nice local businesses and everybody's been very supportive of one another and everybody kind of you know, communicates well together so that we're not in competition with one another. We are, you know, working to enhance each other. And I think that's really important in small business right now.